welcome back to my channel. We are on the sixth episode of my Makeup Artist series, and it is my final episode. And I've kind of been building up to this, and I wanted to show you everything, all the products I've talked about, all the brushes I've talked about, all the like essential things to keep in your kit. I wanted to show you how I actually put them to use. So my good friend Natasha here decided that she would like to be my model. And I also, this is my first opportunity, I guess we should say, for a blog collaboration, which is really, really exciting. So this is Natasha Stone King, and she's gonna tell you all about her blog. Yes, so um, I blog over at hellohappinessblog.com, and I'm a lifestyle blogger that's been doing this for about eight years, and I'm constantly having readers and friends ask me, you know, for beauty tips and tricks, tutorials. So I came to Mandy to ask all different kinds of questions, and to help me find a better way to apply makeup and to use some of her, you know, faves on me so that I can learn a thing or two from her because she always looks amazing. So, well, thank you. <laughs> so, I've already done her makeup and we, in just a minute, we'll kind of transition into the actual tutorial, but I will let you know that I'm going to put a link down to her blog in the description bar, so be sure and check that out, especially if you're in the Nashville area. Follow her on Instagram. I'll put all her social media links down in the description bar, so give her a follow for sure. And I'll also list all the products that I use. Um, and I think maybe it might be a little bit after this video goes up that the actual blog post goes up, but if you follow her blog, you won't miss it. So Yay. be sure and do that. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. So as always, thank you so much for watching and y'all have a very blessed day. So I'm starting off by moisturizing her skin and I'm using my favorite, which is Embryo Lease, the cream concentrate. I find that it works on pretty much every skin type and it works wonderful under makeup. So I'm just really rubbing that in. I love to use my fingers for this step. Now I'm using MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. I absolutely love it because it has caffeine in it and by the time I get to concealer, it's already sunk in real well and it's de-puffed. It's just a really nice eye cream. And now I'm using the MAC Lip Conditioner. And if you can see the flashes in the background, this is there's an awesome photographer. Her name is Morgan Lindsay. I'll put all of her information down below. She was taking um, pictures the whole time, so we got some really cool shots from it. But now I'm priming her face and I'm using my favorite Hourglass Mineral Veil. And again, I'm using my fingers for this. And now I'm priming her eyes with MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And then I'm going to set that base with Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Blanc. I'm going in with the transition color, which is Kid by MAC. And I'm just really putting that all throughout her crease to help the other colors blend together. And now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper. I was really going for like a very um, beachy, bronzy, dewy, glowy summer look. Um, she didn't normally wear peaches and oranges, she said, so I really wanted to get her out of the pink comfort zone. So now I'm using Cream Brulee by Makeup Geek as her transition, not really transition color, but as a crease color on top of Kid. And now I'm using the eyeshadow dual duo called Isolde by NARS. And I'm using the copper color on the outer two thirds of her eye. And then I'm gonna turn the brush around and use the gold color on the inner part of her eye. And I'm using the MAC 239 brush for this. And now I'm just taking a little bit of Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and putting it on the outer V and just blending it up a little bit into the crease just to give a little bit of depth into her eye. And I'm going to clean up underneath her eye with a makeup wipe. I love doing the eyes first because I don't have to be so precise and worry about it messing up the concealer and foundation. So now I'm using the Stila Smudge Stick and Damsel. I really wanted a smoky liner. I didn't want it to be too like cut and precise like a liquid liner. So I started doing a wing and you'll see that um, that wing goes away in a few minutes because I did not like how it looked with that pencil. Now I'm going to use Do The Hula bronzer and I'm just warming up her face before foundation and I'm putting it where I would normally put bronzer. And then I'm gonna take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid 
in the color Moonstone and I'm putting that where I would normally highlight. So the top of the cheekbones, forehead, um, down the nose. I really just wanted to pack on the glow for this look. So I'm doing all of this before the foundation. Now I'm gonna take the Sephora Bright Future Corrector in Melon and I'm just going to put that over any darkness she had under her eyes. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light and I mixed it with MAC Strobe Cream. Again, emphasis on the glow. And I am just going to apply that with a beauty blender all over her face. For her, I use the shade 3.0. Then for concealer, I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use the color NW25, and I just put that under her eyes, and then I take the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen in Light Boost, and put that everywhere I normally highlight, and then I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. Now I'm taking Giorgio Armani Liquid Summer Drops in the shade 100, and I am putting that everywhere I would normally put a bronzer, and I'm just going to blend that out with a duo fiber brush, just to add again to the warmth and tan look that I was going for. Then after this, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to set her under eye concealer and I'm just using the damp sponge to do this. And then I'm just using a very, very small amount of the RCMA No Color Powder. I do not want to cake this on her face. I really did not wanna take away the glow. So this is just to keep her from getting oily later on in the day, but it still keeps a nice glow to the face. I'm gonna wipe that Laura Mercier powder, the excess powder out from under her eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. And to go with the glow theme, I use the Hourglass um, Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer, which is absolutely one of my favorite bronzers. You cannot go wrong with this. It just gives such a flawless, tan, healthy look to the skin. And then to further emphasize her cheekbones, I went in with a very light dusting of the Smashbox Contour Powder. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with one of my very favorites, the Becca um, Jaclyn Hill Collaboration in Champagne Pop. Now for blush, I'm using one of my absolute favorites for every skin tone. It's MAC Cheek Pollen. It's just a really pretty neutral, um, tan blush and then I'm buffing everything out with my hourglass ambient lighting powder in dim light. Now I'm going to stamp Anastasia Beverly Hills smoke under her lash line with a definer brush and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a mixture of cream brulee and rule by MAC which is a real pretty orange color and I'm just going to blend that smoke color out. I'm gonna take ColourPop's Get Lucky, which is a really pretty gold color, and I'm using that for her inner color, inner corner highlight, excuse me. And I'm using the Salon Perfect 615 lashes. These are my absolute favorite lashes, and I think that they look really good for this kind of wispy, summer, beachy type look. Now I'm going in with eyebrows, and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil to define her brows, and then I'm gonna fill it in with charcoal brown eyeshadow from MAC. I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on to meld her natural lashes with her false lashes, and, and I'm gonna put it on the bottom lashes.
Then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Gel Liner in brown and I'm gonna tight line her upper lash line and I'm going to put it in the waterline of her lower lash line and this just really brings the look together in my opinion. And then I'm gonna go on to lips and I use Strip Down Lip Liner by MAC and I'm just going to line her lips and then I'm going to use um, a color that's not really talked about much and but I absolutely love it and it's the color Spirit by MAC and it's just this really pretty neutral brownish tannish color and I wanted to liven it up just a little bit so I went in with the color Hollywood by OCC it's a lip tar and I put it just in the middle and it just kind of highlights and makes her lips look a little bit bigger and shinier. Then I'm gonna go in with that Maybelline gel liner and I'm just going to cover up the lash band and any glue that might still be showing on her upper lash line. And then I'm gonna spray it with some Makeup Forever Mist and Fix to set it all day. And this, my friends, is the final look. How extremely cute is she? It was so much fun doing this collaboration. Please check out her blog. She has some awesome content. And thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.